Hey there, class. Welcome once again to Beetle University. It is I, Professor Moptop. Thank you again a million times, as always. This week, we're going to dive right into it with a really interesting song. You're going to get three hunks of audio all about a song on the Abbey Road album called You Never Give Me Your Money, which is actually three short, incomplete songs that Paul McCartney strung together to make a mini medley of sorts. Um... In 1969, money and being a businessman had become very important in the world of being a Beatle. Now, John, George, and Ringo were big fans of a guy named Alan Klein, where Paul McCartney wanted to go with the Eastmans to help uh, advise them financially. The Eastmans were a, uh, uh, Hollywood um, lawyers who were um, related to Linda Eastman, who, of course, was Linda McCartney. John, Paul, and George, uh, John, George, and Ringo didn't think that was especially fair to them and they thought that Paul would get a better treatment. But um, this uh, ultimately led to the breakup. But at the time, Paul had uh, written a couple songs about money. He had one called Come and Get It, which was uh, about a fool in his money. He gave that to Badfinger to record. But he also wanted to keep another song about money, which was You Never Give Me Your Money, which he wrote when he was on his honeymoon in New York in 1969. Now, he writes of... Um, these few unrelated, unfinished songs, and he put them all together. Now, he liked the idea that uh, The Who and Frank Zappa had done, where they have multi-part themat thematic projects. Uh, Tommy was a big influence on Paul McCartney. He liked how one song went straight into another, went straight into another. There's a song called Colony Vegetables from Frank Zappa from 1968, which you'll hear a little clip of that, which is similar. It's a bunch of smaller parts strung together. After the Let It Be sessions were all done, they started working on Abbey Road, and um, it seemed like Paul sensed that this was the last chance that he was going to have to make something special with the other Beatles. He had um, all three of the songs written. He had the Out of College Money Spent part, and the One Sweet Dream part, and the You Never Give Me Your Money part, which is the beginning. Um, when the three background singing Beatles were singing, they sing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, All Good Children Go to Heaven, which is actually a shorter part of a different nursery rhyme. You'll hear about that in your audio. Um, once it was decided that the whole second side of the album was going to be one big extended song, John Lennon became very, very interested, which was very unique, because at this period of time, he was very disinterested in being a Beatle. He was not very cooperative. He was often, um, he was often just generally difficult. And uh, on May 6th of 1969, they started recording You Never Give Me Your Money with Paul on piano, John and George on guitar and Ringo just doing a fantastic job on the drums as always. There's a lot of unusual changes, there's a lot of unusual time, and there's a lot of unusual shifts that Ringo Starr was able to um, really cleverly manipulate and help keep the band where they were supposed to be. Um, in July, Paul McCartney added his vocal, he added his first bass guitar to the track, and a couple of points there are double-tracked vocals. This is also when they added the harmony vocals, which includes the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, they added the chimes that were at the end of the song, which would ultimately fade into Sun King, which is the first song of the huge medley, which comprises uh, the rest of Abbey Road, or a good chunk of side two of Abbey Road. You'll hear a lot in the weeks to come all about side two of Abbey Road. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to process. And we're going to discuss every little bit of it here at Beatle University. Thank you a million times over and over again and again. Uh, please watch your email. Thank you as always and have a wonderful week.